Hey, what's up, users? This is John at muse for You here to help you build awesome websites without code. And this is going to be a quick video showcasing the new muse for You shop.com website. So here we can see it looks a bit different. Um, and when you first go to the site, you hit refresh, you get this pop up here. Uh, similar to the other one, there was a pop up, but everything just looks a bit different. Um, you can click on subscribe now to go to the widget page, and the widget page also looks a bit different as well. Um, so I'll go back to the home page, and here we can see the header. Um, you can browse widgets, and I'll go back here, or you can subscribe now. It'll bring you up to the subscribe page. Um, here, the, the information is similar as the first website. Uh, it just looks a bit different as well. We have widgets for you, graphics for you, tutorials for you, updates for you here as well, and you can click on learn more. Uh, to go to those different sections. Here we have our best-selling widgets, uh, the the animator, SVG draw, file uploader, and again, you can go to the widget page by clicking shop now. And let me scroll down here. And here is what will I get and why, sh why should I? Again, 39 a year for all widgets uh, in the subscription. And you can click join now to subscribe. Uh, that's me um, there, uh, certified Muse developer, certified expert for Adobe Muse. Um, yeah, there's my cheesy smile. <laughs> uh, here you can subscribe to the newsletter and we have the footer here. Uh, so what's really interesting about the site, it was developed in Muse uh, using breakpoints. I use mostly fixed width breakpoints for this and I'll actually showcase the, the Google Redesigner site in a second, but there's a few other sections I'll go over before I do that. Uh, but here we have the tutorial section, and uh, this I implemented, which I'm actually thinking of releasing a widget that allows you to do this as well on your website, uh, where you can add your YouTube videos. So here you can watch my videos directly uh, from this page. And you can leave comments and you know Facebook, Twitter, Google Plus, and all the comments show here as well. Uh, so this is a nice little feature here, and I might create a widget that allows you to do the same on your site. And you can go to widgets, popular, quick tip, and the five minute series as well. And here we have the Muse for You YouTube channel, so you can go directly to the YouTube channel as well. Um, so there we have that. You can sort by you know list or grid right up here, and kind of go through all the videos there and learn more about Adobe Muse and if you need a quick tutorial on how to use one of the widgets you can go to the widget section here as well um, and, and take a look at those videos. You can show more videos to see more of the videos on the YouTube channel and you can also click subscribe to bring you to the uh, subscribe uh, dialog box there. All right, and you can subscribe to the newsletter. Again, what will I get and why should I? 39 a year for all the widgets and the footer here as well. Uh, then, yeah, you can click here to subscribe now as well. Uh, there on, in the header section, uh, the FAQ as well. It, the frequently asked questions is here. Uh, the blog will take you to Web Design Ledger. Um, I write blog posts for Web Design Ledger. So here is my blog posts. So you can take a look there. And then uh, this is a, a nice feature here. Uh, if you if you've subscribed but lost your subscription email, you can click on access and just write your email and the email will get resent to your email address. Uh, so it's a quick way there. If you can't find your subscription email, just click on access, write your email, and then click on res resend order email and that email will get sent to you so you can access the subscription. Um, there's also the affiliate program down here uh, if you are interested in that. Uh, the terms and conditions as well, simple licensing, simple license, licensing made easy. Here it goes over all of that. Uh, meet the guy, uh, which is me. Here's my face again, and uh, more of the, uh, yeah, the footer here and the 39 a year here as well. All right, so that looks good. Um, yeah, and if you go to widgets, uh, the widget page looks a bit different as well. And the widgets here, you can click on preview, subscribe, or subscribe with PayPal. And the color is a bit different as well. It doesn't have the bluish background, but it's more of a white background with the dark blue text there. And here's the community section on each of the pages and the videos as well. And up here, you can click add to cart as well to purchase individually. Um, so the add to cart button is now up here. The shopping cart is to the right. And we also have the name of the widget here in the left. All right, looks good. So all the widgets have that preview at the top. Subscribe or subscribe with PayPal. 
All right, cool. So I had a lot of fun creating this new website. Um, I really like the way it looks. It looks a bit cleaner. Everything's a bit easier to access. I like that you can now watch tutorials directly from the website. Um, and yeah, the design is just a bit different. Uh, so this was designed in Adobe Muse. The widgets, uh, the widgets page is Big Cartel, so I just customized it to match the website. But uh, everything besides the widgets page is built in Adobe Muse. So I'll just go to design.google dot com slash resizer just to kind of showcase the website and the different testing tools I used when designing uh, my own website so I'll go to museforyoushop.com and here we go let me see if I can make this a bit easier to see okay so all right so let's go to the laptop version here okay I'll go back here all right so here we have the desktop we have the tablet and the mobile so if I go to the laptop, uh, here are the different breakpoints that I used. I used pretty much all of these breakpoints just to make sure that the website looked good across all breakpoints. Uh, so here we start at the 1600, scroll down, and just matched everything to look good on the 1600, 1400, basically the same as 1600. I didn't change much um, because there was plenty of space there between, you know, the space on the left and right between the 600 and the 1440 breakpoint. Uh, then we have 1280, uh, again I didn't change much besides this section here, just kind of move things in a little bit. Uh, then we have the 960, the 960 I did change quite a bit, um, here this section is a bit different, it's a bit thinner to, to fit the 960. And I moved myself down here and kind of reoriented the text there. Then we have 840 there and we can see at the 960 and the 840 the menu changes so I actually have the big menu here on the 840 uh, because the, the menu doesn't fit really across here in the 840 so I changed the menu there alright and then we have 600 so there I kinda lined everything down the middle for the 600 breakpoint kinda made things a bit smaller as well and the footer is a bit different and then we have the 480 so I just kind of made the text smaller and everything a bit smaller here for the 480 breakpoint. All right, looks good. And then we have mobile. So mobile is a bit smaller and even on the 360, I could have brought in the text a bit more as we can see, but everything's just a little bit kind of down the line there for the 360. All right, looks good. And I also added a 320 breakpoint because the iPhone 5S um, is, is 320 pixels in width. Uh, so I added, a 320 breakpoint to make sure it looks good on 320 as well. All right, there's 600 on mobile as well. Looks good. And there I am again. All right, so let me scroll back up here. And then we have 720. Kind of doing a lot of scrolling here, but just kind of want to showcase this. That's the 720 breakpoint. And then we have the 1024. I also added a 1024 breakpoint uh, here just to make sure it looks good on tablet as well. All right, so that is the website. I used a lot of fixed width uh, breakpoints and I think around the 840, 720 breakpoint, I started using fluid width uh, breakpoints just because everything was down the line here. Um, you know, everything went in a straight line, so I figured I could just use uh, fluid width breakpoints. I didn't really need kind of that extra spacing on the left and the right. Um, there so yeah, I could have used fixed width as well but I just went for fluid width near the end there uh, so these were fixed width you know here none of the elements really move I centered a lot of the elements as I was developing um, and this is something I'm gonna go over in another tutorial where I talk about more building a website from scratch but if you group elements after you design them and then center them uh, with the responsive pinning uh, and then you create a new breakpoint, your elements will stay in the center of the site. So you won't have all these elements moving around as you're developing the site. So I started at the uh, 1600 breakpoint. And after I finished all my elements, I grouped them and centered them down the middle using the responsive pinning. And then I created the next breakpoint and uh, that ensured that the elements stayed in the center of the site. And then I could just move things around uh, to make sure that it fit nicely within that breakpoint. Um, and I will go over all of that. I'm preparing a series of videos where we build a website from beginning to end with different sections and adding breakpoints and everything. So I will go over all of that. Um, it was a lot of fun creating the site. 
you know, I even learned more about Adobe Muse as I was developing. Um, and I'm really excited to share that information with you. Uh, so that is the new website for museforyoushop.com. So you can just, you know, check it out. Just go to museforyoushop.com. You know, you can close this here to look at the site or you can open here and then click subscribe now to go to the widgets page and take a look at the widgets as well. Uh, so that's it for this video tutorial. Again, I do this to help you build awesome websites without code. Uh, if you like this video tutorial, you can subscribe below. Also in the show more section below are links to other resources and links to museforyoushop.com. So again, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video tutorial. Thank you.